good morning today i'm back with an another video today i will show you how to hardware your dash cam there the dash cam is connected with the cigarette lighter or 12 volt socket but i want to give it a hardware connection with the help of this hardware kit now let me show you the hardware kit the hardware kits are specific to your dash cam model so if you want to use it you need to purchase according to your to your model now this is a obd2 type there are two types one is that few step connector and this one is the obd2 type it's much easier to connect and you see it won't fiddle with your obd it has only three pins so that will it will take the 12 volt an accessory and ignition connection so you need not need to worry about it so dash car ko hum hardware se connect karenge hotwire connection isko batate hai to isme fayda kya hoga aapka jo 12 volt socket hai wo free ho jayega wo 12 volt socket free ho jayega aur and if you want a 24 hours uh, parking monitoring hardwiring is a must so this is why hardware is necessary and for those who have one 12 volt socket, it is also free to do it. So let's fit it, it is very easy. This car is Tata Altros, so its OBD connector is inside it. Now so there lies your OBD2 connector from where I will take the connection. वही पर आपका OBD2 कनेक्टर है अगर आपको फ्यूज स्टप में भी लगाना है तो फ्यूज बॉक्स भी यहां पर है तो चलिए पहले वायर को ये हेडलाइनर के अंदर से लाके फिर यहां पर लेके आता है लेट अस फर्स्ट रिमूव द ओल्ड वन So I have removed the old connection. What will happen? What will happen? This will happen. This will happen. This will happen. The 12V connection is the socket. It will be free. And if we have a parking monitor for 24 hours, which is the one that 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 is the parking monitor, it will be very good for them. ये कंपनी में जो था वो देने से क्या प्रॉब्लम होता था? नहीं नहीं ये भी कंपनी का ही है दोनों ऑप्शन आता है अगर आपको हार्डवेयर मॉनिटरिंग चाहिए और नहीं चाहिए पूरा हेडलाइनर से लेके आइए क्योंकि ये डायरेक्ट आपका इग्निशन से जाएगा ना You see, it has been connected. You see, it has 
already started to record you see it has started to record now i can fiddle it i i don't want 24 hours parking monitoring so i will switch up through the app and let me fasten it properly what i have done i have nicely tucked it over here so that it doesn't hangs in a bad way and touches the car dashboard and make a rattling noise so i have done it like this and here i have connected successfully now as you see it has started parking monitoring now what i will do i will connect this particular dash cam with the help of a phone with the help of my phone and then i will change the modes i will show you how to do that now let me show you how to uh, connect in the parking mode once you are inside the gadi cam app go to settings and here you will find the parking mode i have kept it off now let me show you how you can uh, enable your parking mode by default it's off and i have also kept it off since i keep my car in the garage here you need to go there and select the number of hours you need for parking monitor suppose i check 24 hours and here is the how many frames per second because since it will be recording in time lapse mode ye time lapse mode mein record hoga to sochi aap uh, 2 fps per second i have selected now you are done now let us stop the car now i have stopped the car now let's see whether it goes to parking monitor or not so you see recording has not stopped recording is going on so the parking monitor is enabled so you see how i have easily enabled the parking monitoring system with this hardware kit so in this way you can hardware your dash cam and it's very easy just purchase the desired model of your particular dash cam and connect it with your obd2 connector and you are done aise hi aap hardware connection kar sakte hai aapka dash cam ke sath aur agar ye video aapko acha lage please give a like and subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to comment in the comment section below thank you very much and goodbye and all the purchase links will be in the description box